she finds that in general in france people are much more relaxed about things that do not matter right do not matter as much and more strict about things that matter so i was like what do you mean like can you expound on that and the person replied to me she said hello guys welcome back to my channel today i thought i would bring you a video on more reasons why Americans like living in France. Now I promised I would bring you this video back in September when I made my first video on my own reasons to my own reasons about why I like living in France. Now remember these are not my personal reasons okay just a disclaimer I asked some Americans on uh, Facebook about some of the reasons they like living in France right and I wrote down about eight uh, I'm gonna be reading them down. I, I wrote down about eight, um, eight more reasons that I'm gonna share with you today. So if you learned something new from this, make sure you give me a thumbs up. If there's any specific video you want to see about my living in France, let me know. <laughs> Other than that, it's my birthday. <laughs> I'm not really doing anything. You know, it's just a quarantine birthday. I'm probably gonna make a cake later this afternoon and that's about it, right? <laughs> quarantine birthday, here we go. This is like my fourth birthday in France. Wow, that's crazy. It's crazy how time flies very fast. I just wanna say this one more time, disclaimer, right? These are not my reasons. I did not come up with these answers. These are the answers that people shared with me that I wanted to share with you. I feel like people online get offended easily, so I just feel like... <laughs> If you're American watching this, like you do not get offended because people have different experiences, right? These people's experiences, it depends on what part of the US lived in, right? And it also depends on what part of uh, France they lived in, their own personal situation. It's not necessarily like bashing the US or like com saying France is better. What is that noise? I don't know, I hope you don't hear it. I think they're doing work in the neighboring home. So the first reason is that most people say that the quality of life is better overall on a low salary right so in general salaries are lower but people have a better quality of life at the same time okay if things are not like you know inflated or elevated and like everything is too expensive remember i'm always saying this as relatively speaking it depends on what part of france right if it's paris then that's that's a whole another story because that that's really expensive and then in the US, if you're talking about San Francisco versus somewhere, I don't know, maybe in the Midwest or upstate New York, that would be different, right? In general, the salaries are lower, but people have a better quality of life. All right. The second reason that other Americans like living in France is, okay, somebody said people are accepted more for who they are versus what they have. So this person mentioned that... Um, it's not like, you know, in the US, there's always this side about like, what college did you go to? What job do you have? What kind of car do you drive? But like, apparently in France, it's more, you accept it for who, who you are, you, versus what you have, what school you went to, what kind of car you drive. I mean, in every society, obviously, there's go always going to be like people who are comparing, but apparently it's less than it is in the US. A third reason was that, people like to stop like always stop for like conversation especially at the farmer's market it's not like always fast-paced right don't get me wrong of course like you know things have to be done right but overall like people can stop and chat i <laughs> i don't know like for my own personal example like I remember going to the supermarket, right? And I'm, I'm kind of like in a rush. I'm trying to like go home and I'm like at the checkout. And the cashier is just chatting with this one customer that was in front of me. They're just chatting about like general, like, you know, in France, what they call banalité, right? Just like chatting. I'm just like, bruh, you know, I'm sitting, I'm like standing there like, bruh. You don't see me that I'm next in line. The customer was also an older person, so I don't know if that factors into that, but she wasn't phased, like, you know, I, for them, like for her, like I could wait. Like, and also the cashier was not rushing her, like, you know, there's another customer who wants to check out. Somebody commented that one time there was a car that was driving and then they stopped in the middle of the road to like drop off somebody. 
and there was like a whole long line of cars waiting in the back right waiting for them to like finish and then so everyone can continue and apparently even though like they knew like people were waiting they still had time to like you know say their goodbyes do la bees while all cars waited like <laughs> it wasn't like all right move 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 okay I mean again these are just like personal experiences that people have noticed like a slower pace of life people are much more chill when it comes to time i mean that does not mean that they do not respect time all right i feel like i always always have to like remind that the fourth reason that i have today for you is the fact that people tend or seem to value like cute little restaurants like more like local restaurants more rather than chain restaurants like you know franchises that have uh <laughs> if, it depends on the person that you ask in, in france right other people love them and other people just feel like these chain restaurants have come to invade france you know like kfc i don't know mcdonald's etc <laughs> and depending and by the way like mcdonald's is not like how it is in france in um it's not like how it is in the u.s like in the u.s you can well i know people who go to mcdonald's pretty much every week and stop by and stuff like that but in france people treat mcdonald's as like a treat mcdonald's is the place that you go to like once in a while to like treat yourself it's not like a place you go for dinner like with your family like every friday so yeah cute little restaurants rather than like large franchise franchises rather than large franchise <laughs> i can't say the word franchises all right there we go why am i screaming all right moving on people really appreciate i feel like this is a very specific kind of person or you know very specific group of people People seem to appreciate the fact that there are a lot more bike lanes and that people tend to walk more. Which, depending, again, on the part of the US that you come from, um, in general, I think we can agree that in the US, we, we are much more of a car culture, right? Uh, driving does not phase us, right? Driving from upstate New York to New York City, like in the same state, <laughs> takes you six hours. Some people, most people that I know are not phased by that. But like when it comes to like, for example, French people, um, this is kind of going off on a tangent, but if you tell a French person like, you know, this address or the destination is like two hours away, like for them, two hours away is like far. Like, girl, you mean two hours away? Like why, right? But like for an American in general, two hours away may not be that far, right? Because we are used to long distances. We have, on top of that, we have, I would really say good highways, right? Eisenhower. <laughs> good highways, like, you know, roads that are wide. People can ride freely. I mean, depending on the part of the US, because if you're on like LA or Los Angeles, um, I don't San Francisco, some part of California, the traffic is really bad in New York City, okay? Mm. But in general, for the most part, like, you know, large roads, uh, highways, and people can drive freely wherever they want to go. Last four, I was in Norway, and a person has been to the US, he's Norwegian, he was telling me about how he was very shocked, like a culture shock for him was the fact that he went to Texas, and in Texas, public transportation apparently is not as developed as in other places. So to go to the supermarket, for him, it was shocking that he needed to drive there. Like, there was no public transportation or something like that in the area where he was, at least. Okay? I don't know. I've never been to Texas, but two people now have told me that some, in some parts of Texas, for like public transportation, forget about it. But, like, in Europe, the public transportation tends tends keyword to be more accessible right on um, an american standard i would say maybe for french people or for other nationalities in europe it may not be enough i don't know all right so moving on to the sixth reason so one person really commented this was just one person they made a comment that i found really really interesting and i wanted to share with you the person said that <laughs> she finds that in general in france people are much more relaxed about things that do not matter right do not matter as much and more strict about things that matter so i was like what do you mean like can you expound on that what are some example of things that do not matter as much and things that are really important and the person replied to me she said well things that are 
things that matter are global warming, right? Being a conscious citizen, work-life balance. Okay, this one I can personally say, like, you know, France, in France, people really tend to put more um, emphasis and more value on work-life balance. I'm not saying it's not the case in the US, once again, right? But I'm not saying like there's no burnout in France. I'm not saying all of that. But in general, like you, you really have to live here over the time to, you know, to see it. It's not something you, it's something you like, I don't know. It's not something you can like sometimes pinpoint. It's just like you see it, you feel it. And things that do not matter as much were celebrities. <laughs> and in the US, we have such a strong like celebrities, like, you know, glorifying celebrities, paparazzi. Okay, what happened to these? Who's dating who? Who broke up with who? Paparazzi, like, you know, I'm not saying it does not exist in France, but like in, in the US, celebrities are like really glorified. People can die over them, right? Literally. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. In France, of course, celebrities are appreciated, they are known, right? But it's not to the extreme as it can be in the US. Um, moving on, extreme patriotism. People think like in the US, like extreme patriotism is just like, whoo. <laughs> Uh, like in France, that's one of the like, biggest stereotypes. Like I really was not aware of. People would like tell me like, wow, in America, you guys are really, really, really patriotic, which borders on like na nationalism for them. Like wow, especially when it comes to the flag and stuff like that. <gasps> but I saw somewhere in an article a few years ago that America was like rated the second most patriotic country after like Thailand or something. I'm not saying uh, patriotic is a bad thing necessarily. No, 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 no. I'm not. They're just saying but there's like extreme when it's like, you know, too much of everything is not good. I would say that. Okay. Personally, I am proud. Okay. For the record, I am proud and. Uh, honored and thankful and lucky and to say I am American, right? I am not apologetic about being American. I appreciate America, but over the years, like living in France, I have learned to appreciate some things just as, just like other Americans living in France. And this is what the video is all about, okay? At the end of the day, America has its ups and downs, just like France has its ups and downs, okay? It's just... <laughs> <laughs> keep that out there another thing is uh, people living to work right that's not as important you live your whole life to kind of like grind the grind culture this is something that I mentioned in my last video which I'm gonna link somewhere here yeah the 24 7 grind culture is really glorified but like in a lot of places in France it may be it may be seen as toxic actually all right like <laughs> I'm, okay, so my housemates are French, but I'm not going to expose them. <laughs> I'm just going to say that, like, for example, when it comes to, like, Amazon, like, one-day shipping, it really is convenient for the consumer, but it means, like, somebody had to, like, probably work overnight. Then that, that's just, like, really, for a lot of people, frowned upon a little, a little bit. You get it. You get the, like, you know, when you spend time with French people. <laughs> oh, my God, you learn things. <laughs> Yeah, and um, another thing was extreme religious mentality, right? Like I said, anything that goes to extreme is not good. I'm not anti-religion. I was raised Catholic. <laughs> Went to Catholic school and all. Um, yeah, which is not to say that, you know, people are not uh, that religious. Overall, France is a very secular country, which was really surprising to me because when it comes to all the history that I learned when I was in high school and college in the US about France and all the empires and all the kings and how Catholic the country was, I'm really surprised at how currently secular it is, right? They're really surprising. And one of the French, pe French people's stereotypes of America is how religious America is as a country, which living in America, I didn't really like see or stand out to me it's just like the fact of being outside of the u.s and looking back i'm like we do seem to be like really really religious like you know even in pop culture or even in politics i don't know we do seem to but <laughs> we do seem to be much more religious in the eyes of french people at least all right so this one relates to child care now i do not have any kids but a lot of people who are parents in france mention the fact that 
child care is way easier in France than it is in the US in terms of cost, right? Apparently in France, let me just read it because these are not my words, I'm not a parent, but right, child care is more affordable. If you work, you can expect to have the state care for your child. I don't know how it is or how expensive it is in like New York City, but like in upstate New York, um, like daycare for like a week for a child can cost you like, it can cost you like 300, 400 dollars, okay? Just for one child, 300 alone per month, right? That comes up to like 1200, right? That's just one month. And you have two, if you have two kids and if you have three kids, but like in France for the most part, like there is like the state can pretty much care for your child. Now, if you are a parent in France and you know more about that, feel free to comment on this one, okay? I personally do not have any personal experience on this one. So moving on, this one I really, really liked. Somebody mentioned that it seems leaders in France are elected based on their platform and how they speak and how they present themselves with dignity rather than just the size of their wallets and amount of corporate donors. I'm not saying in France, uh, you know, leaders are these and in America leaders are these and sort of, but we know that in, you know, American politics in general, like having money and donors plays like um, a significant part of like the person who's running their platform. And it's not just presidential, right? It can be local states uh, elections, stuff like that. I had so much fun making this video. Do not forget to subscribe to wish me happy birthday and uh, feel free to give me a thumbs up if you feel like you took something out of this video. Thanks for hanging out with me today.